Although this video is geared to new sergeants or similar first line supervisors, the points on leadership can be used by anyone in a supervisory or leadership role in law enforcement. Whether that's a sergeant, lieutenant, or a veteran officer with younger officers working alongside them. This week, we'll take a look at some things to keep in mind when leading officers in law enforcement. I'm Steve Serbalik, and I'm a panel attorney for ASCAPS in Arizona. First, it's important to know that although achieving rank gives you positional authority, it does not automatically make you an effective leader. An effective leader is respected by their subordinates and looked to for guidance, not because of their positional authority, but because they display characteristics and model behavior that breeds mutual respect. And we all know people who may have achieved rank without becoming effective leaders. Get your up when I'm talking. Captain Sassy. So with that important distinction in mind, here are a few things that you can do to stand out as a leader. First, build your people up. Officers in law enforcement require specific tools and skills to do the job well. As an effective leader, it's your job to provide them with these tools. If an officer has a deficit in ability or knowledge, don't punish them for that deficit, help to fix it. In one-on-one -on -one circumstances, point out constructive ways that they can improve. Next, if you love it, be willing to set it free. If you have given your troops the tools to succeed, allow them to do just that. Micromanaging is a fast way to lose the respect of officers. Officers end up in law enforcement normally by showing a higher than average ability to solve problems. And many solutions simply need to fall on the spectrum of reasonableness, not just whether or not you would do it the exact same way. Trust your officers and support their decisions. Three, go to bat for them. A time will come when you need to stand up for your officers. Departments, municipalities, and administrators don't always make the right decisions. And although it's easier to get out of the way when an officer is being drugged through the mud, it's your responsibility as their leader to have their back. By all means, hold employees accountable. But if their actions are reasonable, or if the incident is a small hiccup for an otherwise good performing officer, be a voice for them. Four, lead from the front. A supervisor who asks, what could I do to help you get out of here at the end of a shift is noticed and appreciated by their officers. In contrast, supervisors who are the first ones out of the door or consistently give tasks to subordinates right at the end of shift only to leave on time themselves create an atmosphere of animosity. So lead from the front, be the example. When appropriate, be a member of the team, not just the team's positional leader, and put the needs of your officers above your own. Most law enforcement officers have experienced both kinds of supervisors, and when you get the chance, you should strive to be the leader that you wanted. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions on effective leadership, leave them in the comment section down below. As always, please like, subscribe, and make sure your notifications are turned on as it helps these videos go to more officers. Be on the lookout for new videos. They come out every Sunday at 5.30 p.m. Arizona time. I'm Steve Serbalik. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there.